You're still yammering on and on, aren't you? Huh? It's your fault, Yukino! Lunch break in progress. I, Ukaji Kohei, who just started his second year of high school, was arguing with a girl with no regard to my surroundings. That's why you don't get any girls. What?! She had long, straight black hair and a beautiful face. Her appearance alone would attract all the guys. Her white skin overflowing from her distressed uniform attracts gazes even more. She's quite popular, not only in her class, but also throughout the school, and is said to be the most beautiful girl in the school. She's Yukina Aoyagi, my childhood friend. I'm ashamed to be childhood friends with a guy like you. I'd be ashamed for the rest of my life to have a girl like you as a childhood friend. What? Well, I don't need to tell you how much she hates me. Look how intense this married couple is. Who said we're married? If you think we're a couple by looking at this scene, you need to go to the hospital. Then why are you fighting? This guy put carrots in my lunch today. I put those carrots for her and she still complains. That's a married couple. I'll be honest, I like Yukino. I've been with her since I was a child, although she has some character issues. Despite that, I know she has many other attractive qualities to her. Well, it's a lost cause if she hates me. I've thought of changing my attitude, but haven't been able to yet. Besides... What are you staring at? Even if I change my attitude, it's probably not going to work. We always go home together after school. I don't mind, but I wonder why she bothers if she hates me. I really don't know why I have to go home with someone like you every day. I think that too. Why don't you just go home by yourself then? I didn't even ask. I feel sorry for you if I let you go home alone. Thank you very much for that. You should be thankful your cute childhood friend goes home with you every day. Well, I admit she's cute and it makes me happy, but... You don't have to get down on your knees and sob. How can she be this confident? Oh, I want stew today. Huh? You're going to eat today too? I don't like eating alone. Yukino's parents both work late at night. That's the same for me, so we often eat dinner together. I guess it's natural to want company while eating. Okay, let's stop by the supermarket then. Snacks are limited to 100 yen. Am I a kid? Your mother asked me to watch you, so you don't buy too much. Are you my mother? Thanks for the food! Yep. Alright, I'll clean up the dishes. It's fine. I'll do it. You cooked for me, so let me do that much at least. I don't like sending girls home too late. Even though you live close by, the sun sets early these days. Fine. I made it sound like I was pushing her away, but... It's okay, right? For Yukino, it might have seemed like I had her over just to feed her. But it's also true that the sun was setting fast these days. I guess it wouldn't be a problem if I walked her home. But if I did that every time, there's a possibility that Yukino would shy away. I didn't know what the right approach was. I felt like nothing was going to work. Well, I'll just go take a bath. <sighs> I want to go out with Yukino. My desires came out as words now that I was alone. I've liked her for a long time, and if I could go out with her, I wouldn't have any more desires. I'll feel somewhat better if I let it out. I can only do this when I'm alone. Well, she doesn't like me, but she is cute to begin with. I guess it's obvious that being childhood friends isn't a good enough reason to be able to go out with her. I've heard that she's had numerous guys confess their feelings for her. It doesn't sound like she's dating anyone at the moment, so she must have turned them all down. I guess it's just a matter of time. <sighs> I wish I could go out with her. After one last grumble, I opened my closet to take out my clothes. Huh? Oh. For some reason, Yukino was inside! Why are you here? Such a question came to my mind. But more importantly... Did you just hear all of the... It's nice to see you today. Why all of a sudden? I thought so too. Um, Yukino, were you listening to what? Hey, 
Uh, I'll go out with you. Yes? I said I'll go out with you! What? I was taken aback by the sudden statement. Listen, okay? You wanted this, so you should be grateful. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go now. Yukino ran out of the room with a blush on her cheeks. W what was that for? I thought she had left, but she was in the closet and heard things I didn't want her to hear. And then for some reason, she decided to go out with me. Seriously? The next day... Morning. As usual, Yukino was there when I opened the front door. But for some reason, I got a feeling that she was strangely nervous. Because of that, an air of awkward tension surrounded us right from the jump. Hey. Let's get going. Uh, Yukino? What is it? I'm just wondering. Why do we have our arms around each other? I think it's only natural since we're in a relationship. Oh, I'm happy, but I can't keep up with this reality. Morning! Morning. <gasps> I get the vibe that they're all surprised. Of course they would be surprised if you suddenly appeared with your arms around someone. I think it's a natural thing to do when you go out with someone. If only I had a pulse. I'm sure it wouldn't have felt strange. No way! I can't believe our beauty finally caved in! I had a feeling you two wouldn't work out! They finally became a real married couple! We're not married! Uh, this isn't so bad. Yeah. What? You don't seem happy at all. I'm still trying to catch up with reality. Hey, can I ask you something? If it's about the fried chicken, I won't give it to you. Did you think that was a prelude to your mean line just now? And I made you this lunch in the first place. Why did you decide to go out with me? Is it good? What kind of stupid ideas are to suddenly stick the truth into my mouth? I heard that lovers are supposed to do this to each other. That was way too aggressive, though. Uh, I have so many things I wanted to do with you. Huh? Terrible reaction. Is that right? If that's the case, so do I. I wanted to hold your hand and go on dates with you. I had a crush on you for years. Speaking of things you want to do, there's a lot of things I want to do too. So keep this weekend free. Okay. Uh, wait a minute! You're dating our beautiful girl! Let's hear your side of the story! Will I make it to the weekend in one piece? We live so close to each other. Why do we have to meet up somewhere? The weekend finally arrived. At one point, I wondered what would happen. But I'm just glad to be in one piece. A date with Yukino. I'm kind of nervous. I've hung out with her before, but... But not as a girlfriend. Is it okay to call her that? Anyway, this is the first time we're going out in this state. I'm here. Oh! What? You look great. Uh, thanks. It, it really suits you. I could tell from Yukino's current appearance that she put some, some effort in. Oh man, she's really cute. I'm trying to act calm, but inside, I'm nervous. Let's go. Yeah. You wanted to go bowling of all places. Girls don't go bowling together very often. You're right. High school girls are supposed to be drinking tapioca on the side of the road. Old. I see. Tapioca's already out of fashion. Let's play against each other since we're here, shall we? Huh? Isn't this your first time? Oh, you're afraid of losing to a girl? Come on, let's do it then! If you lose, you do whatever the other person says. That's always the rule. Just as long as it's acceptable. Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what. We're already dating, so dirty things are allowed too. Oh, what a coward! Trying to distract me mentally! It was supposed to get you heated. 
Whether or not the lower half of my body can focus on the game is the question. Hey, those two are really good. That girl is really cute. Eight strikes in a row. She's a monster. Wait, she's so cute. Let's see who's gonna miss first. She's so cute. There's a lot of people watching. Yeah, they're all looking at me. What's the fun in watching a beginner play? How can you say that after looking at the score? All right. Oh, that's nine in a row. You certainly don't look like a first timer. It's your turn now. Yeah, yeah. I'll get back in the game. Hey. Oh, you want to distract me? Unfortunately, I'm not that weak of a guy to be distracted by- uh, I'm wearing red today. Uh. I won! The beginner won! That's ridiculous! Hey, how do you feel now? How does it feel to lose to a beginner? If you didn't say that line, this wouldn't have happened! But a promise is a promise, right? Uh, what can I do? A man's word is his bond. <laughs> what should I ask you? P please be gentle. So the next stop is the arcade, huh? That's right. Even a high school girl would have come to an arcade before. We do, but I've never been with you before, have I? You're right. So what are we playing? Medals? Coming here with a girl, and you want to play medals? Unfortunately, I've never been to an arcade with a girl. You've never hung out with any girls besides me in the first place. Indeed. So what are we gonna do? I want to take photos at the booth. Can't you just use your phone? I feel like Yukino's standards are all a generation old. C come on, get a little closer. Well, we don't have to stick so tight. What? You don't like it? Eh? I'm glad you're happy. <laughs> you look better with hair. Wait, stop editing without my permission! Hey, I still have to ask. Why did you decide to go out with me? Er, uh, do I have to tell you? If you don't want to tell me, I won't force you. Although, it will leave me wondering because I always thought you hated me. Uh, I never hated you! I don't know, I just get cold feet. I see. What people would call a tsundere. Uh, I've been called that a lot. I bet. The reason I started liking you is the same reason as you. We've been together for so long. You've never left me no matter what, and you're so kind to me. If anything, I'd be crazy not to like you. Uh. S say something! No, sorry. It's just that I'm glad. Er. <laughs> Awkward air flowed through the room. But rather than it being painful, it was simply embarrassment. Underneath it all, I was happy. So, when I heard your words, I was happy. That's why I took the plunge. Oh yeah, why were you in the closet that time? You said something about kicking me out, and I got frustrated. So I decided to stay. That's a misunderstanding. I guess I can't blame her for taking it like that. Well, who cares? We both have feelings for each other. Yeah. Although unexpected, it was probably the best way for the two of us to end up together like this. Thanks. Why all of a sudden? For listening to my soliloquy that time. Well, it's been a week since Yukino and I got together. My everyday life also changed. Wait up! Stop being so clingy in class! I'm jealous! Let's have a long talk, shall we, Kohei? Days that were out of the ordinary were a bit exciting. Phew! I finally got away. Oh, are you done playing tag? There were too many taggers for a game of tag. Hey, I want curry today. Then we'll have to go back to the store to buy more ingredients. Let's stop by the supermarket then. I'm pretty sure meat is cheap today. Okay. Hmm? What? You two are a married couple no matter how you look at it. 
Of course. Hey, you're too close, Yukino. We're in a relationship. It's not a problem. I'm saying it's the location that's the problem. The classmates gave off a dry smile. I say that, but let me tell you up front that I don't actually hate it. Maybe I'll make curry with lots of carrots today. Yukino's favorite. <laughs>